My name is Lara Satrakian. I'm the co-founder and executive editor of News Deeply. I created a website called Syria Deeply, which redesigns the user experience of the Syria story, and that's why I got invited to the feast. Syria Deeply was a name we landed on basically because it conveys everything about what we want to do. We want to go in depth with Syria, we want to talk to people in depth, we want to share the news in depth. Deeply has become something very close to my heart. So Syria Deeply, it just made sense. And then News Deeply, because we do think someday we'll get to build things like Egypt Deeply, or Pakistan Deeply, Oceans Deeply, or Brain Deeply. So News Deeply just kind of fit. There's so much I love about the way we experience the news. I do love television and in-depth reporting and the documentaries we see, but they're all just pieces of the story. They're all just pieces of a bigger picture. The way I see a story is more like a scatter plot. You've got to take in information from all kinds of sources, all kinds of perspectives and voices, and do the best you can to display what you find on the ground. So whether that means you're using data maps or podcasts or anything that it takes to capture news a different way, in a different format, to find new formats. We have all sorts of first-person testimonials from a teacher in Homs or a doctor in Aleppo or an architect in Tartus. All these everyday folks in Syria who send us their experience. We use that. We run it straight. We have Q&As with experts. We do Google Hangouts with analysts who really know the country very well. You know, all these kinds of points of light come together for the best we can try to accomplish in terms of clarity around a given issue. I think we need to understand the ground truth of any given situation. We need to understand it before it becomes a national crisis so that when we need to have that conversation we can have the right conversation. Transparency is so fundamental to how we understand the real threats that are out there, how we place them, how we prepare for them. Uh, no one ever said Syria was an easy story or a pretty story to look at, but the fact is it will ultimately have an impact on America and the world at large. So you need that transparency to understand what's really happening so that you can make decisions at critical moments that reflect the best in knowledge that we can possibly capture. We work with Syrian journalists on the ground. These are professionals who write about the community around them. We coach and train them to make sure that they understand what it takes to be a global grade reporter published in, in places where we've cross post our pieces from ABC News to the Huffington Post. Uh, we, we work with Arab journalists from around the region to share the perspectives on how this is shaping the neighborhood. And then from there we've mixed that in and made sure that it was always curated with an eye for what's accurate and relevant. And when you mix that in with American journalists who have come to know the story and can provide a natural analysis and their own reporting from around the Middle East. It packs a powerful punch. It creates a collaborative model for a kind of curated crowdsourcing for how we put together different kinds of information and, and angles on a story that we all need to understand.